For this type of job, the client will give you reference, blueprints, or CAD data. Unfortunately, we don't have any of that, so we'll have to do research and do it efficiently. And since it's a tech product, I usually look for the PDF manuals because you can sometimes extract vector information from it. So let me show you how. I'm going to ask Google to search on a specific site called manualslib.com. It's a huge library of PDF, so um, I'm going to ask him to search anything related to Samsung, especially the media right one. So what that means, the site and colon means search on this website. And don't forget the extension, otherwise Google will return nothing. The tilde means anything related to, and the double quotation mark specifics. By clicking on search, all my results go to manual libs. So I'm going to select the first one to see what we have. And we found the quick start manual. So I'm going to download this and see if we can find something we can extract from it. And something uh, really important, don't forget to create a proper folder and proper name to be able to search on your archive much more efficiently later, especially if you look for assets. So I create a, a, a doc folder and I'm going to rename the PDF accordingly. So Samsung Media Rights, Quick Start Manuals and save it. And we're going to open it right now. So. On the second page, this is what I'm looking for. And as you can see by right clicking, it's vector information because I don't have image option. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it in the vector graphic editor in scape and be able to extract what I want. So let's do that. I'm going to go to file open and it will ask me to choose the page I want to import. So I'm going to choose this, the page two and leave everything as default. And now I have this, so I have to do some cleanup. But before that, let me see if I don't have duplicates in the object, which happen often with PDF. So I'm going to ungroup everything as much as possible with Control Shift G. And you can see I have duplicates. So let me select only uh, what I need and I'm going to cut it and delete everything else. So cut this, select this and delete it. And now I have this. So more cleanup to do. So first I'm going to assign a color because I have Boolean operation to do and it, it will allow me to see it better. And uh, I have to group the logo for, uh, for better import in Blender later. So go to union. So everything is in one path. And I'm going to extract this and this uh, from the ball. So union and difference to do that. And uh, remove the stroke because I, I'm going to resize it to the proper uh, dimension. So I, I don't want to, to, have, uh, uh, to have the stroke. So for that, I'll go to the PDF manuals. And at the bottom, I can find the dimension of the object. So change it to millimeters and lock the width and height, and I'm going to put the diameters of the sphere here. Now I have this. So I'm going to put it in the bottom left. So for that, I'm going to go to Align and Distribute and choose Page. A really important, choose Treat as Selection Group because otherwise you're going to have this mess. So when checked, and your line height is going to stay properly and you don't have to group it. So, uh, last cleanup to align everything properly. And select everything and pick the dimension here. Go to document property, change to millimeters and put it right here. So now my document is properly set up. I have to remove the color information, otherwise uh, Blender would assign a material to it and I don't want that. So I'll select this, remove and I'm going to Clean this to make it thinner and save it as a SVG file. So return to the, the project folder and call it blueprints and save this. Now I have this, I'm going to close this and the PDF for now and open Blender 
I'm going to delete uh, this and import the scalable vector graphic and choose my SVG. As you can see, nothing happens. It's because when you import SVG, for whatever reason, Blender divided by 10, maybe because I'm it uh, matters uh, in meters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply it by 10 and rotate it to 90 degrees. And now I have this. I have now to put everything in the middle. So I'm going to start with the base. So I'm going to put the 3D cursor in the middle of the bottom and uh, put the origin to the 3D cursor. So uh, as you can see, I disabled the normal to see better. So now I have this and select everything else. The ball, logo, and these parts, but choose the the this one as last because I I will move everything based on this uh, this last one. So everything is in the center, and now put all the origin to the three D cursor. So everything is gonna be uh, properly at the at the middle of the scene. So it's better, uh, especially if you have to separate everything in different Blender file, you have all the origin uh, at the same place and it allows you to uh, don't have to worry about uh, uh, where it is. So what I did right now is uh, group everything and call it Blueprint. And now I'm gonna save this as, the, as a master file. So create another folder called BLD for blend file. I'm going to create another one, a subfolder for the assets. And now I'm going to name my master file. And save this. And now I have it. So the master file with all the element uh, I will need uh, for the modeling. So as I said previously, I, I prefer to take the habit to separate everything uh, uh, for a project, especially when I have a huge scene. It's not quite necessary for this one, but to keep the habit, uh, the habit I prefer to, to separate everything. But uh, only the base, I'm going to group them because it's not necessary to have a, a two file for this one. So I have these three parts now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new blend file, delete this and save it. And uh, I'm going to call it uh, ball, Samsung Media Rights underscore asset underscore ball. Save this and close Blender because I, I will duplicate uh, the file I just created three times and rename it properly, simply. So duplicate three times and start rena uh, renaming properly everything. So by the way, I am using a Ubuntu 16.04. Uh, it's the Linux distribution. So uh, I'm going to explain uh, later why I, I use this instead of Windows. Okay. So now oh. This one is the base. And now I have everything. I have my four elements. And all, uh, this four element will, will be uh, linked into the master file. So, uh, what I have to do right now is just open uh, the ball and I'm gonna import the, the blueprint. But before that, let, let me name them properly. It's really important to, to, to name everything properly. So call this one ball. And this one logo. And I'm calling this one base. Okay. So save this. And now open each one uh, of the file and uh, link not happen, but linked the blueprint. So it's going to be at the middle and uh, I'm not going to be able to move them. So I, I, I will not have to worry about, about uh, a delayed it or, or stuff like that. 
So now I have this, save it, and I'm going to do the same for the other file. So it, you can find this uh, sometimes really tedious to do, but trust me, by keeping this habit, uh, uh, you will have a lighter file to manage, especially for huge scene. It's really, really important. So, so I do that for absolutely everything. Okay, so now everything is properly set up. So uh, this one is the autosave file. I don't need it for now, so let me clean that up. So I have this. So the ball, the grid, the base and the logo. Everything is properly set up. It will uh, be merged into the uh, linked into the master file. So we have everything we need right now and uh, we can start the modeling with the ball. So open Blender and the, the ball file and now uh, the fun can begin. <laughs> 